morning, दोस्तों क्या हाल है राइट ना आई एम एट अ प्लेस इन पेंसिल्वेनिया विच इज नोन एज अ वंडरफुल प्लेस फॉर प्लांट्स एंड बोटेनिकल थिंग्स सो वट दिस प्लेस इज ऑल अबाउट आई शो यू अराउंड सो आई एम नॉट जस्ट गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस विद दिस प्लेस राइट ना विल सी वट दिस प्लेस इज इट्स बिलीव मी वेरी वंडरफुल एंड वेरी हिस्टोरिकल Hey guys, I'm here with Chris. Hello. She's a wonderful lady. So she's a wonderful friend from United States. Hello. And I'm really blessed because she's here and she's always with me when I'm here. So she always gets me around and we have fun. So Chris, what do you say about today? It's a nice pleasant sunny day after like a week's rain. Yeah, it was raining yesterday. And now it's beautiful blue skies and we're at Longwood Gardens. And yeah. We're going to enjoy the orchid extravaganza. Wow. And would you like to tell my viewers that what this Longwood Garden is and why they are so famous? Well, it's an estate and it belongs to the guy who to the public so right. that people could come and see what he did. And what is the significance of this uh, garden? Um well right now it's a conservancy um so they protect um they protect the the land and they also protect uh the trees. Some of the trees are very old. Mm, like this one. Yeah. See wonderful this 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 wonderful tree. the way how they have curated this tree i'm sure it's going to be like very it 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 would give very nice view in the in the spring season because right now they they don't have leaves but still like we can see the the way like you know how they are spread out they have a lot of different varieties yeah and i heard this was a, a backyard of dupont mm mm-hmm. he lived here this was his property he lived on the grounds and because he loved plants mm-hmm. uh, he designed the gardens um he did the first uh fountain mm mm-hmm. um, it's recently been renovated um, so in the summer they have concerts here they do a fountain show with lights and music and everybody likes to come here with their families and friends It's wonderful. They have a collection of um I forgot what they're called. There's little trees that people take care of. You see them where it's at the building. Right. So beautiful. So guys, I'm really excited to be here. Actually, I wanted to come here last time when I I was in Pennsylvania. It was like 6 years ago. But I couldn't make at that time. Now I'm here. I'm so excited, and it's really beautiful place. Really beautiful, beautiful place. It's worth seeing. And whenever you're, you got a chance to come in Pennsylvania, please do come here. Yeah. And please come in the summer. You'll see more colors. Because they have the fountain shows too. Wow. Time. Time to to right, so we are heading towards uh, this, is, this conservancy. Yes, they call it the conservatory. Uh huh. They have a um, indoor garden. Wow. Um, that is a restaurant over there. They have a restaurant if you get hungry. You can oh, eat. nice. And, um, Look at that there, nice bridge. Oh yeah, we can walk that way. Yeah. This is a bridge. You can walk over it or under it. And it leads to um, another area of fountains. But the big fountain is over there behind you. Here. So maybe you can look uh, look at the fountain. Right now it's not working because it's not the season. Maybe it, it works in the season, right? In the summer. In the yeah. summer. They close it down for the winter. Great. Yeah, because of the water. Oh my God! Such a lovely 
walk through it is we can like pass by these old trees and some of the trees are really old like hundreds of years old yeah like this one uh, I'm gonna show you this one yeah this one yeah and then see these ones wow nicely done Okay, so we cannot go in, uh, into this side because maybe it's a sensitive area. Or what? It's uh, employees only. Okay, it's a restricted area. Restricted. Wait, but go over to the side. yeah, nice. This is a tree here. So I've also heard uh, there is a university or college inside. They have a program here where you can learn to be a master gardener. Hmm. Um, and they come year round, they work on the gardens and they learn about gardening. Right. And since there's so many types of plants, uh, you can learn a lot and get certified as a master gardener. Wow. So it's sort of a, they give you teaching about the, that how you can do wonderful landscapes, right? Yes. And, and gardening. And gardening. To understand the, the plants. Happy that I could come here. It's so beautiful. It's worth coming. Yeah. And free of cost. Because of the membership. Yeah. So we are just entering into this conservatory. Yeah. Conservatory. And you find, wow, such a beautiful flowers. Wow. Beautiful. Orchid extravaganza. You can find more detail on this board about these plants. Wow, look at this. So let, let me show you. Yeah. it's all done under this roof wow and uh, I can I can really feel that they have maintained a certain temperature inside to to like really uh, keep them fresh and green in this conservatory it's so beautiful you can find different colors inside despite the fact it's not a season it's a uh, it's a season where a lot of uh, right now it's orchids. Yeah, they're showing all the orchids here. Wow. Such lovely color. So this one is from Philippines. You can see it's called Bronze Leaf Glory Bar. It's from Philippines. This is the leaf. Come ah, yeah. True. Wonderful. We have this snake, snake plant in Pakistan. We also have these plants in this one. I, I planted this one in, at my home. So a lot of plants that uh, we also found, we, we will also find in Asia. So they are here as well because one one thing is very uh, factful that all those weather that are present in Pakistan or India, they're also here in the United States. So it's also all weather country.
the because good of oxygen. The plants, yeah. I can tell the difference. True. She just they say look weird. She doesn't like the Wow. Exactly. Yeah, because it does look like people there. But I think yeah. I think I think they, they they also eat insects, I guess. I think so. They collect the water, drop some here. So unique plant, and this is called Pathiopedilum. Pedilum, yeah, invincible. Invincible. I like that name. Spread, yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Name. See these fountains. This is something that we also have in our country. We can also move around here. Just to feel more nature. People are sitting on the floor. I can feel this different fragrance here. Yeah? More orchid, orchid, cymbidium. Told me they grow on trees, the orchids, but these are all plants. Maybe it's different types growing trees. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's yeah, fine. You, you it's quiet, quiet, quiet. So beautiful. It's a I mean, I've, I've never seen uh, yeah. this color. I haven't either. In the, in the, yeah? That's the most fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cool gadget. Exactly. Yeah. So handy and oh, so stable. That's cool. Yeah. I've never seen it before. You want to take Black Pearl? You want to take me a picture for you? Yeah. Oh, no, not of me. <laughs> okay. I want that flower. Without a camera. Amazing. So this is nice. So we we call this plant is a money plant. Yeah. This is black olive. Black olive, guys. The plant we call it money plant. It's actually a black plant. Black olive. But it's in the Indian almond family. Yeah, exactly. Indian. So here in business, they have events here for people to network. Beautiful. So we also have like uh, this uh, banana tree. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Large banana tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I see a lot of orchids. Yeah, some more plants. Some amaryllis. I, think this I is don't know. Amaryllis. It's a spotty flower. This this one in the middle. Um, this is this is amaryllis. Oh one. yeah, yeah. It's here. Uh, amaryllis and beautiful, beautiful. But I'm I amazed with this flower as well. Spati. It seems like a, a Spanish or or Mexican name. Very 
Ecco, salve. Guys, look at this. How they have done this. So beautiful. Let's, let's take a walk. <coughs> so in the summer, this area, here's a lotus pond. And lotus. They, have it, they close it for the winter. They've like set up these chairs here so that like, people can. You can take a break. Yeah. <laughs> take a break. Yeah, but actually, like, you know, it's really something you're, you're you're sitting between the nature. Yeah. No? Yeah, you're right in the middle of that. That little kid banging her head into. So here is the plaque of uh, Pierre Samuel Dupont. 1929. So 1929, almost, um, almost like almost 100 years. 91 years. Yeah. Exactly. To be very precise. So on the first floor. Yeah. Yeah. This one is the Amarillo. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Cactuses. Perhaps we can like go this way and then come back. Amazing. They have everything. Look at this. It's so unique. Yeah. What is it? It's, it's a called Fel Push. From Madagascar. Madagascar. Of course. Something really unique. True. The leaves are so thick. It's, it, it seems a very tough plant because, you know, it comes from the deserts of uh, Madagascar. Yeah. That's 
century plant. Amazing, amazing flowers. Some of the flowers that I've never ever seen in my life, like this one. So beautiful. It's called orchid container. Yeah. But then we also have like you know these sort of cactuses. Please go ahead, go ahead, please go ahead. Look at this Mexican yam. This one? It's Madagascar. Hmm. Um, it's a Cyrus. It's just a yellow. It looks like it's soft. It's, it's soft. It's soft like a lamb here. Yeah. It's soft. Cool. It's all soft. It's a big one. It's a big one. Olive. I've always seen such shots only in Hollywood movies. I never realized it would it would have like been so real. So finally I got a place to visit and see it in real. So beautiful. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, of course. Yeah? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know such a beautiful places in the United States, right? Oh yeah. You are native. I love um, landscapes and beautiful land, beautiful scenery. Uh, I like this place because it's close to where I live. Uh huh. And it's natural. Who and owns Who owns this land? Or who used to own this land? The land was owned by Pierre Dupont. And uh -huh. He was a very wealthy man who traveled the world, and he invested in the land here. Uh huh. He purchased uh, parcels of land so that he could create a beautiful place for the public uh -huh. to come and enjoy. So where we are going right now? We're going to this old house up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very old house made out of stone. Uh -huh. We turned it into a little museum, a visitor center. Right. But it used to be someone's house that lived there. Okay. But what this all place is about? It's a conservancy. Conservancy. They're preserving the land. Okay. And it's a place for gardeners, mm -hmm. and people, environmentalists, right? People who care about the land. And what are the conservancy, conservancy rules in or regulations in United States once a land is declared as conservancy? Oh, so yeah. what does it does that mean? Um, well, di there's different things you can do, but mostly it means you can't build on the land. So I'm here at a restaurant and thankfully Chris has brought me here and she told that it's a wonderful Mexican place because she knows that I love Mexican food uh, and uh, this uh, Mexican place is El Venchero, right? And uh, the thing that we, are, we have ordered today is Maquiete, Mocajete, Ranchero. So it's uh, one of the best, best thing that they sell here, that they cook here. So I'm really excited for this uh, food, and uh, this place looks actually so nice. If I could say, if I could show you around, like you can see in the background and the way they have uh, decorated this one, you can see it's so Mexican. Yeah. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Are you tired? I'm exhausted. It's just because of how, me? Look how tired my eyes are. Oh my gosh. Is I'm going to fall asleep. Is it just because of me? Yes. I'm happy for that. You're making me tired. <laughs> yeah. So I'm so bad. I'm so bad that uh, I kept you walking, walking the whole day. And all day. All day, yeah. And the then, entire day. Then, and then, and then you, you took me uh, shopping. for shopping. Yes. Yeah, but we went to Kohl's. Yeah. But when you call? 
Huh? It was your call or my call? It was to your go, call. Uh, okay, again <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm very excited uh, to have this food. But we have the starter right now. It's chips it's and salsa. Chips and the salsa. It's really hot. So wait for, for, for our dinner. So I'll show you that how it looks look, look like and then I'll also give you the review about this food. So, Mocha Hete is here, guys. You can see it on my camera. And it looks so stunning. It it contains like all sort of uh, meat. You, you'll, you'll see some chicken, some seafood, like shrimp, jalapeno, uh, then cactus. and then some cactus. Oh my onion, gosh! Onion, onion. onion. Mm -hmm. and then uh, steak. Yeah, yeah. and this is just it comes. It comes in this wonderful pot. Urdu mein hum isko kya kehte hain hum isko? Anything, anything we say it. Yeah. So, but it's it looks so nice. I'm so excited to eat. I cannot wait for it. So please give me a break. Mocajete. Mocajete.